<laughs> oh! Bit of a durability test. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, another unplug. Got nothing. That's right guys, it is part three of the Nozzy 110 scale budget bash build. Now in the last video, I got the speed control or the two in one board and the motor swapped out. The two in one board was 45 amp, 3S capable, but it did have a bit of a lag and the motor was rather small for this chassis. It was only a 2845, 3600 kV motor and they do class this as a 110th. It is a little bit smaller than 110th. It's probably like 111th, 112th but still a 28 size motor is pretty small for this car. So I decided to install this Remo Hobbies 3650 3000kV motor, but I did actually swap the stock pinning gear, 16 tooth pinning gear out for a 22 tooth pinning gear. You could modify it if you wanted to, to fit bigger pinning gears, but yeah, 22 tooth mod 0.6 is the largest you can fit with the stock standard or the existing motor mount holes. And I also installed the Hobby Wing WP 10 BL 60 2 to 3 SP control and it done a fantastic job and the only real issue that I found in the first video that I forgot to mention was the shocks they were a little bit soft so I put 100 weight in there so hopefully they do a bit better and I think I stripped the gears in the stock servo I hit the fence a little bit too hard on one of the one of the front wheels and yeah, strip the servo. I did try the new MJX servo because it was the same size, but it was the slowest servo I have ever tried. So I've actually ordered a new servo for the MJX. Hopefully that will do a bit better. But for now, I'm just gonna use this ZD Racing nine kilogram Metal Gear servo. It's the same size as the stock servo, so at least it'll fit. These aren't the greatest servos though. The only other thing I keep forgetting to mention is I am actually running the Dumbo RC radio on this. Obviously changing it from a two-in-one board, you have to add a speed control, but you also have to add your own radio system, the receiver and transmitter. So you yeah, guys, the Dumbo RC radios, in my opinion, are one of the best, cheap, effective, great controllers. So let's take this outside and see how it goes today. All right, so as you can see, I've just got the stock battery in there at the moment, but I did bring the other Gen's Ace battery fully charged. So if I run out of battery with this too quickly, I'll chuck that Gen's Ace in. Oh, that steering's way off already because I changed the tie bars, I think. All right, there we go, that's a bit better. It feels super smooth, super stable in this area now. I think just the, the grease in the differentials helped a lot. Nice. Oh, I'm glad I made that skid plate with the with the extension, the little wheelie bar extension. That steering's way off again. Yeah, I really got to get something better than this little ZD servo. Hopefully we don't break anything today, but I did actually buy a whole nother car just for spare parts and stuff. Cause it was, it was much cheaper to buy a whole nother car rather than parts and stuff. So yeah, got all the parts I need at home if, I, if we do break anything today. Oh yep. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got to change the, uh, the oil in the front shocks. These wheels are awesome. Oh! Bit of a durability test. This stock match is not doing too bad. I might have just needed to warm up a bit. Oh! All right. Might have had to unplug then. Well, 
if it is an unplug, we may as well get that other battery in there. Yeah, there we go, guys. So I'll get that Gen Zace battery plugged in, the 1400 milliamp. I might even move the ramp, set it up just here, where I had it the other day for my Max and my Creighton, and yeah, try and get some proper sends. <laughs> what are you doing? You wanna have a look at the car? Oh, I think we might have bent one of the axles. <laughs> we might be able to get some upgraded axles in there, but I bought the other car, so we should be right for a while. Oh, wow. Nice. Bit of a light back for there. <laughs> It's a little machine. Oh. 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 oh, I could see that coming. Another the battery come out. All right, but did we break anything? No, surprisingly. Awesome. Oh, actually, I might might be hearing diff clicks. Oh no, it might be the skip plate. <laughs> this is a crazy little car. Nice, that was a good front flip. Yeah, that was the skid plate then, making that noise. Oh, I missed the jump, oh wow. Oh, another unplug, got nothing. Ah, oh, here we go, the speed control. The double-sided tape has come loose. There we go, so that will definitely cause issues. Oh, and we broke something. Oh, we just pulled the, the tie bar out of the steering assembly there, uh, out of the Ackerman. Might be able to get that in there for a few more jumps, but the speed control not having any double-sided tape on there is gonna be bad. I'd love to get a triple. I know it's got the power there. But I'm a little bit scared off this ramp. I just can't line it up properly at the moment. Need a better servo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to have to be it, guys. The double sided tape's done for. It's got all dirt and stuff on it now, and it won't stick to the chassis. So, definitely going to have to get that home. Probably get the, the tie bar changed again. Yeah, it started popping out just after that one jump. Definitely threaded, so I'll get some longer screws in there. Get some more double-sided tape on the speed control, like I said. But the rest of the car's doing real, real good, guys. The shocks, the WL Toys 144 shocks on the front, the 114 scale, and I think it's the WL Toys 104001, the 110 scale shocks on the rear there. They're doing an excellent job. Like I said, I might have to get some thicker oil in the front shocks. But that's already 100 weight oil, so we might have to go up to like 150 weight. But for now, guys, it's doing an excellent job. It seems to be very strong, even doing these big launches. So, yeah, guys, I definitely can't wait to bring this back out. I'm not sure whether I'm going to make any more changes just yet, but I'm sure there'll be more changes to come. But like I said, all budget stuff. But at the moment, it hasn't really cost too much more than the initial 130 Australian dollars for the car itself. The speed controls here, they're about 50 or $60, depending on where you get them. These motors are quite cheap. They're only about 30 Australian dollars. 
again depending on where you get them from the servo these are very cheap little zd racing servos they are metal gear like i said but they're not great i think they're about 16 17 dollars but i do recommend getting something a little bit different something a bit better i'd love to put a standard size servo in here but i'm not quite sure whether we've got enough room but we'll definitely be able to find something better than this little zd racing servo these rear shocks off the 110 scale or a pair they're probably about 15 dollars same as on the front the 114 scale shocks are about 15 dollars a pair and my skid plate that's about three dollars worth of polycarbonate and about 10 minutes worth of work so for what it is you know it's a good little car it's very fast on this system, just a 3000 kV motor, as long as you go up to a 22 tooth pinion gear, definitely worth the money I think. Alrighty guys, time to get it home, give it a bit of a clean, because it is very dusty again. But uh, yeah, like I said, we'll just have to get some double sided tape on that speed control, as well as get that tie bar swapped out, and I'll look for a better servo, something that actually stays centre when I'm not touching the steering. But uh, yeah guys, I'll get that done as soon as possible, can't wait to bring it back out, it's an awesome little car. Alrighty guys, cheers, catch you in the next video, and as always, stay safe.